still funny, but you know, it's just very different. Uh, it's pretty freeloader character, mostly a panhandler, pit top, pit pocket, uh, later on, um, and a little bit of W.C. Fields type characteristics. Later, it involved to the Freddie Wheeler, who did it. He was happy being poor, and did, you know, so was happy in his shack and helped people uh, whenever he could. So, uh, a little uh, sort of evolution of the Freddie character. But the, again, uh, NBC canceled the show, but the, and Red was thought he was done in television. Um, but the, he went to Las Vegas and he performed live in front of Las Vegas crowds, and that gave them a brand new energy. Again, that's just a, a constant response. That was missing on the TV show, too, was just the timing. You didn't get the audience response when it was taped. So, so uh, CBS uh, saw him perform, signed him up, but the first two years on uh, CBS, the so, so 53 and 54 years, um, he would, didn't make it in the ratings. Uh, there, uh, there's no listing of him in the top 30 during those two years. But uh, MC, uh, he signed a pretty good contract with CBS, so CBS was kind of stuck with him at the time. But then, uh, and his TV show was still a little different, was um, either uh, it was uh, Red playing many characters in, in the TV show, either Clem for about 15 minutes, then there was a little song, uh, the singer, feature singer, then either um, Dead Eye or, or something like that. He played back maybe, maybe three different characters in one episode. Um, later on, the show tried to change again, and um, it mostly was a show like Red Skelton himself. Um, he wasn't, uh, no major characters, he wasn't playing his uh, funny characters. It was Red Skelton ever uh, played Red Skelton, and he went to different situations. Kind of like what Jack Benny was doing. In the so Jack Benny was himself, and he went to different situations. But uh, that that situation didn't work. Right? But uh, so what saved the show in, in '55 was the writer Sherwood Schwartz. He's, he he was became the head writer, and uh, he's uh, Sherwood Schwartz invented Gilligan's Island, Brady Bunch, and uh, he thought that Red was best played one character at the time. And so that's what he wrote. He wrote, uh, so the episodes became either uh, one, ep one episode with per character. Either Freddy was featured, Dead Eye, the Pug, a Cal Farm the Pug, San Fernando Red. But he, for, so if you didn't like one character, maybe next week you uh, like the other character. Uh, Red did his opening monologue and then went to pick his character story. And that saved the show. <coughs> And then that was the, for a half hour show. And so um, some of those classic shows were his, you know, Christmas shows with his uh, Freddy or uh, Cop and Ant Anthem story. About, uh, so that was based on the old Henry story. But uh, most of the time, most of the shows were just one character and so a one, one storyline, no variety. I no guest star. I, the guest, if the guest star was a singer, sometimes it snuck a song in. In the episode. And most of the time it was just a, like a situation comedy with a different character each week. But then Red went to, um, and that got him into, um, started getting into the uh, 14 in the ratings, 15 in the ratings, 12, and in uh, 59 he went to, he went to 5 in the ratings, but up and up in 60 he went to 19 in the ratings. So he went up and down, but he stayed in the top 20 during the time of Sugar Swartz. Uh, became the head writer. Then Red uh, changed things up and went to the variety show again. And this is, they went to an hour program in 1962. And the first step, uh, so here's a clip of uh, the first thing you saw in the hour program. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the It's a 
So no, no theater on NBC for canceling them. Uh, empty studio in NBC. So Zara program was to get the format of, uh, of so at that time mostly a one character, one uh, one storyline. I mean, started out with the monologue and went to a one character. But for the Zara program, he also had a guest a guest singer and sometimes a dance number, and then he included something special, a uh, silent spot. The silent spot was just pure mind. It was a storyline and just pure mind. And for his first guest star on his first hour show was one of the masterminds of the times, a Harper Marx. And now Red Skelton and Harpo Marx in the silent spot. Expeditionary forces land in France. Battle of the Marne rages.
always ended with the silent spot. And so this lasted from, um, so the hour show lasted from 1929, uh, 1969 to, 19, uh, nine, um, to 1970. And um, only twice it was below the top 10 ratings. And th those two times he was on 11. So it's close enough, right? but, so, but he was in practically the top 10 for the Zawa program the whole time. And um, he had major guest stars during the on show, but also another success story with competition of the, uh, he was with the, that one of his favorite guest show, show stars was Ed Wynn. Ed Wynn was a person that he admired, and Ed Wynn was going through some tough times, and Red Skelton helped him get back into the popular uh, culture. He, Ed Wynn became popular in the Disney films, and it, his own show, and so, but the Edwin uh, appeared on the show, and what, Edwin is one of the rare characters where that can break bread up. And usually, bread is well, breaking the guest star up most of the time. But Edwin guy reverses it and broke bread up. And you saw like in the, um, the first two seasons, the show when they were on NBC, there most of his um, supporting characters, his crew, his cast. They broke, everyone broke up on the set. And that kind of also probably might have been a downfall in the show, because it showed a little bit on professional. But the, so Red, you know, um, so during the rest of the show, Red was allowed to break up, do ad-libs, and um, his guest star was supposed uh, to um, sort of break up and do ad-libs also. But most of his supporting crew were more professional, and they kept a straight face. So that kind of made it funny. Uh, so I think that such a, that kind of comedy is sort of, um, sort of makes it more funny is when everyone else is staying straight and while you're breaking up that can come with comedy but when the first two seasons on NBC when everyone's breaking up that kind of decreases the comedy too it showed like it was like a rehearsal it was like everyone was having fun and not paying attention to the, uh, to the acting but sort of, I'll show you a clip of Edwin and Red Skelton together.